Hi guys, so I thought I would jump on and do a little comparison between the MYNT 3D Pro 3D pen and the Super MYNT 3D pen. As you can see here, both of these pens are extremely similar in terms of their size, their thickness. They actually have almost the exact same buttons as you can see here. The main difference between the Pro model here and the Super model here is the LCD screen and the ability to select your temperature with these buttons right here. So if you're switching from PLA to ABS filament, PLA being a softer filament, ABS being a harder filament, you need different temperatures and so you're going to need to adjust the temperature. It's easier to do that with the LCD screen here. For the Super Pen, you actually need to peel this back comes with a little tool and you can adjust the temperature by turning the screw that's in there. Personally, I am using 3D pens for hobby projects. I want my kids to use them or building little figurines. I am not interested in using um, different filaments. I'm using PLA, which is non-toxic and doesn't have any harmful fumes for kids. So personally, I don't actually see a huge need to have that LCD screen with the temperature selection. Uh, so personally, I'm finding that I don't notice a big difference between the two models in that way. Like I said, they both are the exact same otherwise in terms of their feel, the buttons, the grip, everything else is the same. And so I'm going to demonstrate the pen for you today. So both have the same buttons. This is the load button, which will allow the filament to come through your pen. This would be the unload button. This one adjusts the speed of which the filament comes out of the nozzle. You're gonna want to adjust that depending on how fast you're moving because you're gonna want a nice smooth line, not a line that's clumpy, not a line that's too thin or stringy. And you might need a little bit of practice with that. And then of course this one, you can adjust the temperature. This one, you're just gonna leave it at the set PLA temperature. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, so I have a laminated piece of paper here. It's easiest to use your 3D pen on a laminated piece of paper. I'm going to press the extrusion button here. So I'm just going to get some of my excess filament out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by outlining my shape here. So just do a nice outline. I am left-handed, you might notice. And so... That might make a little bit of a difference in terms of the grip. I like the feel of this pen. I enjoy the grip, um, but of course it might be different between right-handed and left-handed individuals. And then once you've done your outline, you're just going to fill in your shape back and forth. If you've ever seen a 3D printer work, this is essentially how they work as well. They make an outline and then they go back and forth filling in. You don't actually draw in 3D, you don't draw in the air. So now let's switch. We've got this part done. Let's switch over to the Super 3D. So same thing, I'm gonna press that load button. I'll just make sure that I get that excess filament off. Make sure my filament's running smoothly. And then I'm just gonna go for it. I think I have this one set at a little bit of a higher speed. So I'm getting a little bit of a thicker line because I'm trying to go at the same speed with my movements. She's actually turning out a little bit better for me. Again, that's something that you have to adjust as you get used to it. I certainly don't claim to be an artist. Once I fill it in, I could go this way as well to give it a little bit of more structure, but just to show you here. So you can need to give it about 30 seconds for it to cool, though it does cool pretty quickly. So it's still a little bit flexible at this point. It's not quite in that hard stage. Probably give it a little bit more time, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna pull it up. And so you can see here in my heart, you really can't tell the difference between where I printed with the Pro Pen or the Super Pen. I think that um, the only difference really is that ease of switching between the PLA and the ABS and getting that temperature setting. If you're just planning to do kind of hobby novice projects, I think that the Super Pen is an excellent choice. Both are great choices. Really like the feel of both these pens. They're super user-friendly. They're affordable. I think either of them is a great 3D pen for beginners.